Yo, what is going on everyone? Today, I'm just going to talk a little bit, ramble, commentate on the sketch that I'm doing. And yeah, that's about it. To get started, we are drawing Juna Unagi right now from Idol EN's first wave Isekai. And she is an electric eel VTuber. She's one of my favorites to watch right now. She's super chill. I love her voice. Her two covers that she has are bangers. Highly recommend to check them out. Her debut cover was of Use Wa, and her most recent cover was Phony, and they both sound sick. Anyways, like I said in the last video, I am trying to sketch more just to get back in the habit so I could, you know, just to build up more muscle memory and building my visual library ever so slowly. But speaking of last video, it got way more traction than I thought it would, so thank you so much for that. And thank you for everyone who started following me on other social platforms or YouTube itself. And thank you for all of these supportive comments. I really, really do appreciate it. Speaking of the last video, if you're wondering why it's not up, it was taken down because of copyright. I mean, that's just a big whoopsie on my part. And I can't re-upload it because I kind of got rid of all the files, like two days. I thought it was in the safe because, you know, two days passed and it wasn't taken down at the time. So I kind of just deleted everything. But oh well, you live and you learn. So yeah, I never personally really watched these kind of sketch with me or draw with me videos before. I would prefer it if uh, what I'm watching right now wasn't in, I think, four times speed right now. But I kind of wanted to just have a rather short draw with me, sketch with me type video. Because I have seen some people have like 30, 40 ish minutes, but we're just going to try to stick with like 20 minutes max. But if I do enjoy filming in this format, I might just do it every once in a while. Like I said in the video before, I do want to have my upload schedule of both art and YouTube around the evening time, my time, consistently every Friday. But because I did post that video at the beginning of this week, I didn't want to wait, you know, a whole week and a half before a next post. So I might as well just post something. So this is kind of a low effort thing, but but I do have a lot of other interesting ideas planned. And I guess we'll go through them right now. I do want to point out that I'm very surprised that the sketch that you're seeing right now turned out pretty well, in my opinion at least given the time that I was drawing. I was only sketching for about an hour, but I do like how it turned out, you know, for, for a sketch. I think it's very nice. And I say that because usually I take the most time on sketches because I find it to be, you know, like the foundation of the finished piece, blah, blah, blah. But because maybe it was because I had a timer right above me and there was also a camera right behind me, you know, maybe that did take into account how fast I was drawing. So I should do that more. I should have a timer. And if you're wondering why I had a timer is because there, after like 30 minutes, my camera stops recording. So I needed a timer. But I think I was kind of nervous in the beginning, making a lot of uh, unnecessary strokes and wasn't really sure on the direction of the piece that it was going. But I started getting to the zone and I feel like getting up every once in a while to like check the camera and everything sounds kind of chaotic, but I feel like it was helping me. Maybe it was just a one off time, but we'll see. But anyways, back to other ideas. Uh, I do want to make more. I don't even know the style of video that the uh, first video I did was. It's kind of more like a presentational sort of just video essay type deal. So I do want to do those more specifically for videos titled something along the lines of like drawing, trying to draw like X person. So like trying to draw like Lamb, trying to draw like Mika Picasso, you know, stuff like that. I have had this idea for a while. And I mean a while, I mean like maybe close to a year ish. But never, you know, it's just one of those things I never got around to until now. But the only person I've seen that I've really liked the way they present this content is Tippo. 
TPPO. Their videos are fantastic, by the way. Please go check them out if you have not. The way I edited the first video definitely is similar to the way they edit their videos. But yeah, the content that they do isn't exactly what I was thinking for my own content when it comes to when it comes to art analysis. They're very like technical and try to make a complete piece based off of based off of all of the factors and characteristics of the presenting artist. But for me, I think what I'm going to do is kind of just go through a section of the video where I first introduce the artist, of course, and then blocking out their anatomy, composition, like, you know, drawing over, kind of tracing type deal to kind of show, to try to understand their thought process behind things. And then taking characteristics that I like from said artist and trying to implement it into my own piece. And that is the process that I take when it comes to just trying to get my style and techniques and skills honed in. But I've never really done like huge breakdowns like I'm expecting for the video. Usually I kind of just, you know, let's say look at Rudo's art for my last piece. You know, I kind of just usually take one or two aspects from an artist I really like and implement it into a piece to try to test the waters. So for example, the last piece I did of Yuko Yure, the anatomy and the facial structures and pose are definitely heavily inspired by Rudo. And I did break down around two pieces, only when it came to like composition and posing and anatomy, but it really did help. So, you know, doing the video, I think will be a really cool thing to see to give insight on my like workflow when it comes to breaking that down. And speaking of workflow, I do want to make a art process video. Everything when it comes to getting inspiration, creating my sheet of references for said piece, the sketch process, rendering process, upload process. That would be a pretty straightforward video. So I'm going to do that one for sure. And I don't necessarily want to do like a bunch of art challenges, but you know, there are some that pique my interest. So majority of what I draw is usually fan art for VTubers I watch, just because I like to be engrossed in communities and drawing my favorite VTubers is super fun to me. And I kind of see it as a way of me giving back for them, you know, giving us hours on top of hours of entertainment. So I was thinking of doing maybe like drawing VTubers from memory or like a random wheel where I spin it and then I have to draw the said VTuber. I'm thinking like MS Paint mouse versions as well as like actual real like pen tablet display drawing. I'm just reading off of like my idea Google Doc list. I also see drawing with random brushes. Not sure how that's going to work. Looting VTubers. I'm not sure if that was just me telling me that I should loot more VTubers or if I should just draw or if that was a video idea. Maybe both. And speaking of looting VTubers, if you are into that NSFW art, when this goes, when this video goes live, I should have something posted on my NSFW Twitter account, which is right here at thinking oh whoa, if I if I remember correctly. And, you know, it has been neglected. I think I only have two pieces and both of those were during the fourth WA era. But I did make a promise, I guess you could say resolution, if you may, for the year 2023 that I draw more ludes. Why? Because I do love drawing ludes and looking at that. But maybe we can go into detail in another video. I also want to do more live 2D work. I am in the middle of designing a VTuber model for a homie of mine. And then afterwards, I want to design my own as well. So I think the process of creating said VTuber model or models and then throwing them in the live 2D will for sure be videos. So I'm very excited for that. I'm looking at finishing the VTuber model completely when it comes to design and learning live 2D during the second week of February. And yeah, I know it's a quite the specific date. I think that's three-ish weeks from now. And there's a specific date because I kind of been 
holding it off due to personal reasons, but I told them that I would 100% get it done then, so stay tuned for that. And then I kind of just want a VTuber model for myself. I feel like I wouldn't even stream that much, and even if I would, it would just be drawing because I don't really play video games nowadays. Most of the time it's just gotcha. And when it comes to story games that I've been interested in, such as Fire Emblem, I usually just watch people play it. Because for me personally, believe it or not, watching a streamer play it and experiencing it for the first time with chat and with a specific streamer is actually my favorite way to consume story rich video games. And then I'm kind of over the phase of competitive video games. Yeah, this video just kind of turned into me rambling about the futures of this channel and well, kind of looking over at what's going on on the screen right now, you see that I have two other Juna pieces, sketches rather, that I worked on the other day and one of them's a bunny girl because, you know, New Year's. She also she's also talking about putting yourself in a bunny girl costume and then because like i said earlier she's done a cover for phony i kind of put her in the bunny girl costume and then doing the phony pose very very fun sketches to work on right after this i actually want to do more i am finishing an nsfw post of spoilers yuko yure and Fuyo cloverfield and it's going to be definitely very, very lewd. So if you are into that, again, it's going to be on the Twitter. It should already be up by the time this is posted. Oh, another video idea that I do have. It's kind of like not really art related, sort of kind of art related. I wanted to do a video over like manga is dangerous or manhwa is dangerous. One or the other, maybe both in one video. But I kind of just want to talk about my favorite manga, my favorite manhwa, my favorite R18 doujin. Maybe this is a completely separate video. But the fact that I consume those in rather bite-sized pieces or... Okay, that's a lie. I consume them in large portions at a time. Very, very rarely. Because I just get very into it. Like, I think I finished the entirety of part one of Chainsaw Man, the manga, in like two days. And that's 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 a lot of reading for me personally. And the last manhwa I read was probably like well over six months ago, and it was called Lilith. And I want to talk about that too, because I thought the story was fantastic and the art was great. But I want to talk about it because like it's so dangerous for me personally, because... Like I said, I get very into it, very engrossed, and I refuse to start something unless it's finished because I'm a binger. Like, I can't even watch anime one episode per week. I kind of always, if it's a 12er, I just sit down after it's done and binge it for four hours. It's fantastic for me. It just feels like an extended movie, and that's just my favorite way of consuming media. Again... I'm not sure if I'll do more of these. Maybe I will, just in case. The only other time I can see myself doing videos like these is if I'm in sort of a time crunch and need to post something on Friday and maybe rant or just talk a little bit, then yeah, I'm probably gonna do it. Usually, I'm hoping that I have more higher quality videos on Fridays, but you know, if you ever see a draw with me or sketch with me video of me just talking and ranting, well, you know, I was pretty busy that week. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, I'm so sorry. You're probably not even here if you did enjoy it. If you somehow reached the end, do let me know below because I, I highly, highly believe that anyone did. I don't even think I would sit my, I don't even think I would sit here personally and listen to the rest of this. Yeah, go check out my art socials, mainly Twitter, I would say, is the one I use and am active on the most. We're almost at 300 followers on Twitter, so that is super hype for me. Of course, I do not want to look at that as just a number, but rather how many people are supporting me. So if you're one of those almost 300 people supporting me on Twitter, I would like to give a really, really big thank you. 
because eventually I want to open commissions and when my art gets better, you know, shooting for the stars, I want to have prints and get a consistent upload and streaming schedule up. Yeah, big dreams. And of course, if you are here supporting me on YouTube, thank you for that as well. It really means a lot whenever I put in the time and effort to edit these and film it and getting good feedback. So yeah, I've talked for far too long. But again, thank you, and I will be seeing y'all next Friday. See ya.